Under this compression corner, so we will see different type of furnace, what is furnace and how this furnace is utilized for making, uh, helping in ores uh, to converting into the pure metals. So first we will see what is the meaning of furnace. Furnace, it is a device in which high temperature is produced by burning a fuel or electricity. So here we are using fuel and electricity to get the high temperature. Okay. What is the basic principle? Basic, basic principle is that to utilize heat efficiently to utilize heat efficiently so that losses are minimum so we have to give minimum loss of heat second principle is that to handle the different phase phase means whatever we are using the uh, material combustion material like ores in solid liquid or gas so which moves at different velocities for different time and temperature such that erosion and corrosion of refractory are minimum. Actually, what is refractory? So, we will see another definition. So, refractory material is, we can see, inside the furnace, inside the furnace, temperature is very high. Hence, for making inner lining of furnace, we need a substance which may sustain such a high temperature and remain chemically inert. Such substances are called as refractive furnace and these substances are lying on the walls of the furnace. So their temperature is, they can sustain high temperature. Let us see which are the different refractive substances can be lying in the inner wall of the furnace. So here we have three types, acid, basic and neutral refractories. Acid refractories are normally silica, quartz, siliceous sand stones, etc. So I have mentioned some temperature here. Similarly, for basic refractories, lime, dolomite, magnesite, these are so their temperature also given. So they can sustain this much temperature. For neutral refractories, graphite, chromite, bone ash, bauxite, alumina, and silica carbide is a special refractory material. So against every uh, example, temperature has been mentioned. So this type of refractories is used in the furnace. Now types of furnace. Ty types of furnace is reverberatory furnace, blast furnace, muffle furnace, electrical furnace, induction uh, furnace, arc furnace, resistance furnace. So we will see this one by one in a short, very short. So first is your reverberatory furnace. You can see here diagram. So we I have drawn one diagram. So in diagram this is your uh, brick material, bricks, here partition, this is a partition, in this partition there are three parts, one is fuel and uh, fuel or fireplace, this is your hearth and this is your chimney, so this whole furnace is divided into three parts, fireplace, hearth and chimney, so here fuels are kept, fuels, fuels can be, uh, uh, fuel can be oil, natural gas or pulverized coal, anything is there, okay, and this is your charge, charge means it can be ores or metal, etc. anything, so uh, there is no contact between this and this, so it is contact is on being, if you heat, if you burn this one, it is burning, so heat will come this side, uh, this is your convex, sorry, concave, uh, arc roof is there, concave arc roof, so heat will just strike this uh, arc roof, so arc roof such that it will be reflected back, so it will be reflected back, so on reflected back, this will burn, Okay, so on this will burn, then what will happen? Some gases will come out. So this whole fireplace is controlled by the winds and some uh, control windows are there. So they will control the minimum supply of air or in absence of air. So this whole uh, metal uh, charge is uh, burned with the help of uh, reflected heat. And this is almost 10 to 100 feet. So here we can see uh, roasted tin stones is reduced to molten tin. In this case, and galena is heated to lead oxide and lead sulfate. Uh, copper pyrite is CuFeS2 is heated roasted to copper cuprous oxide and iron oxides. So these type of phenomena take place. We can do any other materials also. Now next furnace is our muffle furnace. So what is muffle furnace? Muffle furnace is similar like a reverberatory furnace. It's modified. You can see here again we have some stones. The wall is there. Some fireplace is there. And this fireplace is burning and here this is the one chamber which is called as muffler. So here we are putting charge. Charge is again ores and metal sector. So this whole furnace is surrounded by the hot gases and flames. So these hot gases and flames will uh, burn this river, burn this uh, charge present in the muffler. So it is quite different from the muffler. So this is used for the extraction of zinc, uh, for annealing and gold and silver for assaying. So this is another use for the muffler furnace used for the these type of metals. Next is your our 
next furnace is our blast furnace so blast furnace is very important furnace so you can see diagram here so diagram is uh, very big this is your blast furnace so blast furnace you can see the diagram through diagram this is almost 25 to 60 meter in height and uh, dimension is 14 meter height so again with this diagram see here uh, this is your crane uh, we uh, so to here where this is hopper where the ores and limestone coke is added and uh, uh, here we can see different type of temperature there this temperature is in decreasing order so here uh, this is the lowest temperature 250 then 60 then 1000 then 1300 1600 so temperature is increasing down so bottom temperature high here temperature loss ls and this is one space where hot gases is out and this is space where compression is passed in so here compressed air is going inside at high temperature like 600 centigrade okay and uh, we can see here some slag Slags are the we have seen already. It is a, a lighter in molten uh, molten metal. So man, metal is coming uh, outside uh, through this uh, outlets and slang it come outside from this outlet. So this is lighter and also prevents further uh, being oxidation. So this we will study in another topic that is called extraction of iron. One special topic we will discuss it. This is a furnace very uh, high uh, height. That is 25 to 60 meters and the diameter is 14 meters. So this is very very high. In this furnace what we are doing? Why it is called blast furnace? So blast furnace basically name is a blast of air is pumped into the furnace to attain high temperature. So blast of air we have seen here. Air is pumped into the furnace. This is basis there. Again it is used for the reduction of iron oxides normally into iron and copper minus into copper. Normally we are taking this two for the blast furnace. So what is slag? Slag it helps to protect it from reaction with the incoming air and it prevents uh, it to bring uh, the temperature, it, it to bring uh, furnace reoxidized. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, it helps to protect it from reactions with the incoming airs and it prevents it to being reoxidized. This is the temperature of the furnace which is decreasing order. So this is the function of slag and this is the reduction of iron oxides. Next furnace we have that is called electrical furnace. So electrical furnace it is again uh, we can see there it is used for refining of metals and generation of it. Two purposes there. So it is this furnace again lined with the magnesia. Uh, magnesia again we have seen this is a basic refractive material which can melt at very high temperature. And here electrical energy is converted into heat. So in this we can see there are three furnace. One is induction, arc and one resistance furnace. Induction furnace charge again the same metals and ores which is lying inside the furnace bed and that constitute the secondary coil of the induction. Secondary coil is the part of the induction unit in which the charge is kept inside. And again after uh, passing this uh, induced current into the secondary coil, induced current is produced due to that induced current, uh, it will heat up the metal limits, the charge present inside the secondary coil in induction furnace. So due to uh, that induction current, uh, heat is generated up inside the uh, in the charge. Next is uh, arc, arc, arc. It is uh, heat is produced. How heat is produced? Heat is produced by striking an arc between electrodes. So two electrodes are uh, charged and the electrodes. The temperature may rise more than the 300 degrees centigrade. So this is the highest uh, uh, temperature in all the furnace. So this is the one uh, space, is a chamber in which uh, charge is there, and two electrodes may they will stack each other or they can stack with the charge and heat is generated, and this will get melted. So again, uh, resistance furnace, in this heat generated due to the high resistance in the electric circuit or in some cases charge act as a resistance or body of furnace is made up of high resistance materials so that the rods of poorly conducting materials are embedded into the charge. So this is uh, heat generated due to the resistance present in the charge. So these are the some of the furnace which is used in the electrical refining of metal.